Hey YouTube, Grunt Reviews back in the studio. This is one we've been uh, waiting on for a while, finally showed up. Guys, this is the Beretta 1301 Comp Pro, tabletop and unboxing. As always guys, uh, like, subscribe, drop a comment down below, share us with your friends. And if you're feeling generous, guys, there's a link in the description. Uh, it's our buy me a coffee. Feel free to buy us coffee here at the channel and let's get into it. So, just picked this bad boy up. We, of course, do get our uh, very nice Beretta uh, plastic molded case. And let's take a look. So, obviously, you get your standard warranty paperwork and safety instructions. Uh, they do have a warranty uh, registration card and a QR code for the manual. Uh, this does not itself actually come with a paper manual. I guess uh, a little bit, a uh, little bit easier to keep up to date when it's online. Um, of course, we do get the shotgun itself. We get uh, two additional extended chokes. Looks like a let's see here, a cylinder, uh, an improved modified. And then I'm not sure what's actually in uh, in the barrel. Let's check that real quick. Oops. Come on. All right, and we get an improved cylinder. So you do get your three extended chokes with this. Um, and I will also add too, these are available in two different barrel lengths. Uh, there's a 21, which is what I have here. And then they are also available in a uh, 24 inch barrel. Um, talking with the guys at the Beretta Gallery, the 24 inch barrel is on just about permanent back order. Um, they're not even uh, to the gallery guys. Beretta's not even um, updating when they're going to get stuff. So I'm going to guess it's going to be another six months for those. And then last thing we do get a couple of accessories. We get our choke wrench and then we get a, a couple of plates uh, to change the, uh, to space out the stock just a little bit too. The other thing is this does already include a spacer plate in the stock, so this can actually be removed and you can actually reduce that length of pull there. Let's uh, go ahead and get this bad boy up on the, uh, on the stand and take a look. All right, so got her up on the stand here. Um, we'll kind of start at the muzzle end and work our way back. So we do get the three chokes. They do come with their extended, they call them the black edition chokes. Obviously, you can uh, purchase additional chokes for your particular shooting needs. Does, of course, come with a fiber front sight, but does also come with a bead about halfway down the barrel. Um, kind of an interesting combo there, as usually you only get uh, one uh, or the other. The forearm on this is, a, uh, of course, polymer. It's a plastic with a rubber insert on the bottom. Uh, looking at the information Beretta provided, that is going to be to help uh, increase grip with uh, wet or muddy hands, something of that nature. Um, does come pre-drilled on the top here. We have uh, four screw holes, so if you wanted to mount um, a pick rail, or I'm sure that Scalar Works will have a mount uh, for an RMR or something similar to their uh, M4 mount out shortly if it's not out already. Where they've really improved this shotgun, um, of course you do get the uh, oversized uh, bolt knob or charging handle, you do get the oversized bolt release, you get a very very nice lifter, an oversized safety, and an improved trigger which we will of course test with our trigger gauge. Um, one of their, their big improvements or the big thing they're touting is the stock, which they are calling the kickoff system. So uh, reading the 
information available online and I have not taken the stock apart yet to take a look but they give you a nice soft cheek piece on top and then there's actually several uh, dampers they call it elastomer so a rubber damper built into the stock and they are claiming a 40 percent reduction in felt recoil um, talking with the uh, talking with the technical specialist at the um, Beretta Gallery, he said essentially uh, it's an A400, so it's built to hold a uh, three and a half inch shell minus the barrel, which is only a two and three quarter or three inch. But basically, they took the um, everything from the barrel back is set up for magnum and reducing magnum recoil. And I have not tried this, but he said that an A400 barrel will fit on this. I have not tried that, full disclosure, um, but it is something I definitely will attempt if I can get my hands on one. Um, but it is designed to be very, very, very soft shooting for three gun uh, type sports. Look, fit, finish, feel. It definitely feels like a quality stock. Um, when you put it up to your shoulder, it doesn't just feel like a cheap piece of plastic. There's actually some substance to it. The little bit of rubber that they put on here is not bad. Um, myself, personally, I would have preferred some sort of checkering, but I will say that the rubber does give it a very quality or a higher end, I'll say luxury feel to it. Um, so it doesn't feel like a cheap shotgun. Um, with the MSRP on these things being about $1,500, it's good that it doesn't feel cheap. Bottom side, um, they do give you a sling clip there, and they give you another sling clip on the end of the tube. Downside to this, um, out of the box, if, uh, if you guys watched any of the pre-release um, pictures or any of the pre-release videos, they showed a really nice matching blue mag extension. Um, the joys of 922R, my understanding is, is they can't ship them into the United States with anything larger than a five round capacity. Um, but there is numerous companies making extensions for these. Um, Nordic Components, Lancer Systems, I believe it's Tony Systems out of Italy is who makes the official um, Beretta extension for it or the matching Beretta extension. So that is a little bit annoying, but it can be remedied. It would have been nice if they had included that with it, especially, uh, especially for the price. However, if you look at the Benelli M2 or something similar, those aren't coming with them either. Kind of flip this thing over on its side here. So we do get a uh, vastly opened uh, loading port. Could be opened a little bit more, um, but it is definitely a, uh, definitely a vast improvement. We get our very, very nice lifter here. And the cool system with this is it's actually designed, you'll notice here, to keep that lifter up when you are loading. So, if you are, and we've got some dummy shells here. We're loading her up. So lifter will stay in that up position. If you do want to drop it back down, we have a little switch right there. We can drop it back down and it will still continue to function as normal. It was a little louder than I thought it was going to be. And it will still hold open on the last shot. If you guys saw the um, original uh, 1301s, they had uh, one major fatal flaw, which was if you loaded this thing up, and as you can see, keeps that lifter out of the way, creates a nice little ramp. Um, but if you loaded this thing up, and you're going through ammo, you could hit that bolt release and it would end up double feeding, creating uh, basically a catastrophic malfunction, a jam that was very difficult to clear. You had to pry it out with a, a pocket knife or a set of keys. 
Um, with the Comp Pro, they have remedied that. So this is in a uh, this is in a fixed position. It'll feed everything. Still locks open. The bolt release still works, but it has uh, it stays in that position, so you won't end up inadvertently double feeding um, if you bump it while you're moving around. So good improvement there. Um, you will notice, kind of going back to the mag tube, that I only had uh, three practice shells. This does come plugged from the factory, so it is a uh, two plus one capacity. Um, of course, I'll go in and remove the plug here, um, but wanted to get it up and at least show it to you guys. Let's go ahead and pull out our Lyman digital trigger gauge and we're gonna check this trigger. Right. So first pull right at five pounds, nine ounces. Second pull right at six pounds and one ounce. And third pull, five pounds, two ounces. We're going to do that one more. And fourth one, five pounds and five ounces. So the trigger is somewhere between the, uh, the five and six pound range. Um, the actual feel of this trigger is fantastic. So, and we'll get this from the backside. You get just a hair of take up. You get a nice firm wall, little bit of creep and then a nice break. Nice audible reset. Easy to, uh, easy to break again. Let's go one more time here. So, nice firm wall, a little bit of creep, break. Nice audible reset, and then just that little bit of creep again, and a nice break. Um, trigger really does feel uh, awesome on this thing. Um, I had shot a 1301, uh, just a, a standard tactical model a while back, and it was okay. I would kind of put it in that uh, stock Benelli M4 category. It was a little bit heavy, um, but still very serviceable. Um, this is clearly designed uh, with the, the competitive shooter in mind. So fantastic job uh, on the trigger there. Really my, my only complaints with this, um, like I said, not coming with the mag tube, having the plug inserted from the factory is kind of an annoyance. Um, we're gonna get this out to the range here very shortly. And of course, we'll do our range review. We'll see if the trigger breaks in at all. Um, and I'm really curious to test to see if this uh, kickoff system or this kickoff stock really does make a difference in felt recoil. So as always, I'm gonna run a variety of ammo through it and see how it performs. Um, but initial thoughts, really do like this thing. Um, very well thought out. Um, all the features that everybody um, does to their M2, their M4, um, your competition shotgun of choice, they have finally put all in one package and made it very serviceable. So went ahead, um, did get the plug pulled out of this so that, uh, so that we can attempt this. Something I did notice while I was pulling the plug out that I wanted to highlight. Um, we can see a red follower here. Um, it is actually marked uh, from Tony Systems in Italy. So kind of neat that they are including uh, I guess an aftermarket follower with it. Um, one, an aluminum follower is always nice, but two, 
the aftermarket high performance follower, um, if you will. For me, I've never really noticed a difference. Um, as long as it's aluminum, it seems to run. That will matter to some people, so just wanted to highlight it. But because I know I'm going to get asked, uh, how easy is it to quad load? Can you quad load it? Um, did go ahead and grab my shell caddy off my belt. Uh, we'll quad load this thing real quick and see how it goes. I should preface this that I am not the fastest quad loader in the world. I'm going to give this one more try, see if I can uh, fix the operator error in quad loading here. So that was a little quicker. Um, I have not shot a three gun match uh, in almost a year now, uh, thanks to COVID. Opening or the uh... The way they opened up the loading port is very nice. Um, it does make it very easy. Um, the lifter does work a little bit like a ramp. I do wish they had maybe notched that out if you've ever seen a, uh, an ANS trigger guard uh, for the Benelli's where they give you that scoop. I think that would have made it absolutely perfect. Probably, um, if you are running this for three gun, you could probably come in here and open it up just a little bit deeper. The reason I wanted to try this, some people had said that the rubber was catching shells when they were quad loading. Um, as you can see, I suck at quad loading, um, but the, the rubber on the forend really doesn't catch. Just wanted to highlight that. Really looking forward to shooting it. Guys, as always, stay safe, train hard, and thank you for watching.